Windows services are long-running executable applications that run in their own Windows sessions. These services can be automatically started when the computer boots, can be paused, stopped, and restarted, and do not show any user interface. They run in the background. Sometimes to maintain the normal functionality of an application, we need to manually stop, start, or restart a service. In this video, we will see how to start or stop a service in Windows. To do so, search services in the search bar. Run it as an administrator. The services window will open. Here we can see the names of all the services installed on our system. Their running status. And, their startup type. For demonstration, let's take this service. This service is currently running on our system. And its startup type is automatic. It means that this service will automatically start. To stop this service, right-click on the service name. We get an option to stop the service. Or here on the left, we can click Stop, to stop the service. By clicking Restart, we can restart the service. Or, after right-clicking on the service name. Click on Properties. Here, we get the option to stop the service. Click on Stop, and the service will be stopped. We can see that the service status is no longer running. To start the service, here we can click on Start. Or, right-click on the service name, and click Start. Or go to Properties. From here, we can start the service. Here we can change the start type of this service. We can change it to, Automatic Delayed Start, Automatic, Manual, or, Disable it. Currently, the startup type is automatic for this service. Let us disable it. So, we will select the start type as disabled. Then click OK, or click Apply. Here we can see that the start type is changed to disabled. So this was the easiest way to start, stop, or restart a service, and, change its startup type. If a user wants to create some kind of script then he may want to start or stop the service using the command line. Let us see how to do it. In the search box, type, cmd. Then run the command prompt as an administrator. Let me quickly adjust and change the font size of the command prompt window. So, we have this service that we are working on. We need its service name. Right-click on it, and click Properties. Here we can see the actual service name. We will copy the service name. Now back to the command prompt. We will first stop the service, using the service name. The command is net space stop space Then in double quotes, the name of the service that we just copied. Then, press Enter. We can see that the service was stopped successfully. Let's verify this in the services window. We need to refresh it. We can see that, the service is no longer running. To start the service, this will be the command. Net, start, service name in double quotes. The startup type of the service is currently automatic. We will disable it using the command line. We will write the command. SC space config space name of the service in double quotes space start equal to disabled then press enter we can see that the change service config is successful now let us verify it in the services window we will need to refresh first we can see that the startup type of the service is changed to disabled. In the same way, we can write the following commands to change the startup type to automatic. Automatic delayed. And, manual. To know more about the connect and SC commands use the help command. It will provide all the usage manuals for the command. This is how we can start or stop a service and change its startup type, using the command line. 
Now we will create a small batch script that will run both the commands when we run the script. Let's create a new text file. Give it a suitable name. Change its extension to .bat. Then press enter. Here click yes. We have an empty batch script. Let's edit it. Here we will write both the commands that we saw earlier. The command for stopping the service. The command for changing the startup type of a service to disabled. Pause command to prevent the command prompt window from closing automatically. Then save the file. Let us see the service in the service window. We can see that it is currently running. And, the startup type is automatic. Now running the batch script should stop the service and change its startup type to disabled. We will run it as administrator. We can see that both the commands ran successfully. Let's refresh here. The status and startup type are changed. We can also create an executable of this batch script. To learn how to create an executable from a batch script, please refer to this video. Running the executable will do the same actions as the batch script. We can see that both the commands ran successfully. Let's refresh here. The status and startup type are changed. So this was all about stopping or starting Windows service and changing its startup type. If you like the information then, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your time and patience. Have a nice day.